Hey, Booty Pass here. Let me tell you that how I become obsessed with this system and operation things. I have been working from like being a VA, being a staff in a retail store, being a lowest level in international organization, be a manager, be a CEO, COO as well. They are different, but I understand. I understand everyone. I don't know everything about this thing, but I'm at the point where as an integrator, I understand how higher level think, what they want to achieve, how they want to oversee the bigger picture. And I understand the staff, the followers, the people who work for the higher level. I understand their feeling. I understand how their day to day looks like. And I feel caring for them that everyone wants to success in their own career. I believe being a business owner is a job creator. I really believe that. If you escape your nine to five to be an entrepreneur or to have your own business, at the end of the day, once you have a team, you help other people have more jobs. You create more jobs and you help people get more jobs to work with you. Either it would be their nine to five or their contractors, but you help them to generate more income to have a better life. And that's a very good thing. Why I'm here, what I like to do is that I take this opportunity as a student because I don't want to convert my money. Yeah, why not, right? And I can work. <laughs> so have some spare time. Then I go to work as a staff as well. And I get to see how they're on board. I get to understand the big franchise change or like international corporation of retail store or any big brands. They really have SOP clear, their brand objection, value, mission, working step by step from start to end. Every step of customer journey since enter the store until the exit, how the staff should behave at certain stop point or touch base and how to keep fulfill the customer within the journey why they enjoy the atmosphere environment of the store that's how they onboard any staff at their beginner level i mean the starting level sales floor even i'm talking to service provider cost creator or coaches that's still working on their own do you have that customer journey idea in your head yet it's a very good lesson that I get to learn from this big brand. They streamline and it works every single time for 10 years, even 100 years. I believe you have your own brand loyalty that you always go to, right? That have been exit for like more than 50 years or so. Like it's legend, right? The big brands are legendary already and that's why we have to learn from them, how they create this customer journey. But it's not coming from customer. It's come from how they operate their back end and what they want to let other people understand and how they communicate. It's actually from the brand side, the company side, that they have made decisions on their operation system, that they want to train their staff this way. And it's proven because it has been validated from time to time to time again. I bet it's not gonna be perfect at the first place, but they have been adapting according to the crisis. And also it's work. The bullet point is there. There are not many things that someone can just like plug and play, but until they're able to digest this information and then create the SOP standard operation procedure, to anyone who read this document can just do this job right away. That's what I work. That's what my work's for. And that's why I really enjoy working. Even though as a staff, like they pay me few bucks an hour, I'm okay. But I get to learn that system. I'm having fun, I can say. I learn how their manager treat outsource like me, like getting to their staff. And I'm open to talk to them because I get to learn how they get trained as a manager at the brand, as the brunch, how they get assigned, how they schedule the staff on weekly basis and so on. It's always eyes opener for me.
and I love my job so much. I always come back after this shift. I didn't do much, don't, don't get me wrong, but like when I have time, I just like get those tasks and then just go ahead with it. I learned many things, how they observe the customer when they're greeting, everything offline, the same way that you do online. It's the same perception that you want your customer to feel. And I am a strong believer in that. So hope you get the idea how you actually can learn from the big brand and adapt to small business like us, make it better, make it simpler for you to run your business and also living your lifestyle the way that you want. Let's get unstuck and see you next time. Hey, thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoy the show, you can subscribe here or here and this is the previous episode. Check it out. See you next time.